Good evening. You're listening to the Anglican Daily Podcast. This is the Compline edition for Ash Wednesday, February the 10th, 2016. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the deceits and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You have given me relief when I was in distress. Be gracious to me, and hear my prayer. O men, how long shall my honor be turned into shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Be angry, and do not sin. Ponder in your own hearts, on your beds, and be silent. The first psalm appointed by the Psalter for the evening of Ash Wednesday is Psalm 102. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. For my days pass away like smoke, and my bones burn like a furnace. My heart is struck down like grass and has withered. I forget to eat my bread. Because of my loud groaning, my bones cling to my flesh. I am like a desert owl of the wilderness, like an owl of the waste places. I lie awake. I am like a lonely sparrow on the housetop. All the day my enemies taunt me. Those who deride me use my name for a curse. For I eat ashes like bread, and mingle tears with my drink. Because of your indignation and anger, for you have taken me up and thrown me down. My days are like an evening shadow, I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. You are remembered throughout all generations. You will arise and have pity on Zion. It is the time to favor her, the appointed time has come. For your servants hold her stones dear and have pity on her dust. Nations will fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth will fear your glory. For the Lord builds up Zion, he appears in his glory, he regards the prayer of the destitute, and does not despise their prayer. Let this be recorded for a generation to come so that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord, that he looked down from his holy height. From heaven the Lord looked at the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners, to set free those who were doomed to die, 
that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord and in Jerusalem his praise. When peoples gather together and kingdoms to worship the Lord, he has broken my strength in mid-course. He has shortened my days. O my God, I say, take me not away in the midst of my days, you whose years endure throughout all generations. Of old you laid the foundations of the earth and the the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like a garment. You will change them like a robe, and they will pass away, but you are the same, and your years have no end. The children of your servant shall dwell secure. Their offspring shall be established before you. Our next reading for this evening comes from Psalm 130, beginning with the first verse. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleas for mercy. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchman for the morning, more than watchman for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is plentiful redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Our final reading for this Ash Wednesday evening comes from Psalm 143, beginning with the first verse. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my pleas for mercy. In your faithfulness answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued my soul, he has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore my spirit faints within me. My heart within me is appalled. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all that you have done. I ponder the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit fails. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you I trust. Make me know the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness bring my soul out of trouble, and in your steadfast love you will cut off my enemies, and you will destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Grant, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let your mercy be upon us, as our trust is in you. Turn us again, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be whole. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Let us pray. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past, and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God and Father of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men, women, and children everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Anglican Daily Office podcast. We are currently working to make the podcast available for subscription from iTunes and other fine sources. In the meantime, you may find more podcasts at anglicandaily.com. The liturgy for Compline is assembled from various Anglican sources, including a Book of Offices, as published 1914 to 1917 by the U.S. Episcopal Church, the 1979 U.S. Book of Common Prayer, and Volume 1 of Texts for Common Prayer, a working text for common prayer within the Anglican Church in North America, as approved by its College of Bishops in 2013. Scripture readings for Compline are taken from the Psalter found within the 1928 U.S. Book of Common Prayer. Scripture quotations are from the Holy Bible, English Standard Version, copyright 2001 by Crossway, a publishing ministry of Good News Publishers, used by permission, all rights reserved.